Hi everyone, Jackie Edwards here again from Bali. And today I just wanted to have a quick chat with you. As you can tell, it's starting to get dark out here, so I only have a minute or two before you won't be able to see me anymore. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to have a quick chat with you about listening and how we can make sure we're really, we really are listening and not just hearing people and waiting to make our comments. So a lot of what builds a real connection between people is when you feel like you're being heard and you feel like you're being listened to. So if you think about people that you really feel a deep connection with and that you talk to and when you feel like you're being understood, you think about how they're treating you and how they're listening to you. And most of the time it's when they're sitting back, they have their full focus on you. They're not talking on their cell phones. They're not, you know, playing on their computer. They're not looking at anything else. They're just focused on you. And they're not, they're not talking back either. So if you're telling a story and saying, oh, you know, the other day I had a really bad day because this and that happened. And, you know, the other person listening to you says, oh, yeah, the same thing happened to me this one time and I had a really bad day and I can't believe that all that happened. And they go off on a big story that's about themselves. But you then didn't feel like you were really being listened to because, you know, you weren't. That person was just waiting. They were, they did hear you. They knew what you were talking about because they were able to, you know, relate it to a story about themselves. But that doesn't mean they were actually listening to you or, you know, really feeling what you had to say. So, in order to kind of become an empathetic listener, you, you need to sit back and really listen and not listen to, to talk, not listen to, you know, share your story or share your views. Just listen and hear what they have to say, you know, focus on them, nod, smile or not smile depending on what the tone of the conversation is, and then just ask the leading questions, ask them about it. So, you know, somebody's telling you what a great day that they had, say, oh, you know, that sounds like you were really excited about that. Say, yes, I was really excited because blah, 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 they'll start to feel like they're being heard. And um, we had a couple of really, really great nuggets, so I want to read from my sheet here a little bit. Um, just kind of three top tips about making sure, how you can really make sure you're listening. So, first one is make sure you clear your head and clear yourself of all distractions. So again, like I mentioned, getting off your mobile phones, you know, turning off any computers, you know, clearing, clearing the space, turning televisions off, making sure that you're really focused on that person that's talking. Another thing is reflect back elements of what they've shared. So if they've said, oh, I had a really bad day, and say, oh, that must have made you feel quite bad. So feel like you're listening. This is like, you know, you've just fed back their emotions to them and they can either say, yes, you know, it did make me feel really bad or no, it didn't make me feel bad. It made me feel a different way. And then they can talk about that and help, you know, make them know that you are listening and that you understand them. And the third thing is, and it's, it's kind of linked, is identify that emotion in the background. You know, it's one thing if you can just say, oh yeah, I understand you had a bad day. If you say, oh, it sounds like you felt really bad about that, or it sounds like you felt anxious, or it sounds like you felt disappointed, then you can bring the emotions into it, and they can really start to feel that connection with you. So even if that wasn't the emotion that they had, it might they might explain it a bit differently. They could say, oh, no, I wasn't anxious, but I was disappointed, or something like that. But they still, they still feel that connection. They know you're listening because you're, you're you're responding back, but you're responding back about them, not about you, not about how that experience relates to you or anything else like that. They are you are responding back about them and asking them for more information. So you're showing that you're really really interested. And what happens then if you're not really really interested in what they have to say? And the our our trainer gave us a really really amazing quote that I wanted to read for you all. And she said, if you're bored, change the way you're listening, because then people come alive. So if you're bored by listening to them, that means it's likely your fault, because you're not listening in the right way. You're not giving them the kind of attention and the space that they need to come alive and really tell you their story. So if somebody has a passion and you know they're, they're just saying, oh yeah, I really like that, it's probably because you know, you haven't given them the attention that they need to really explain it. So if you focus in on them and say, oh, so that sounds like something you're really interested in. Can you tell me more about it? And then they'll go on to a little bit deeper and you say, oh, that sounds like something that makes you really, really excited. Say, yeah, it does make me really excited because da 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 And 
you can just keep going from there and they'll come alive because they know you're interested in something that they're interested in and you can just build the conversation from there without you having to say, oh, this is how it relates to me or you know, having any other distractions in the background. So that's a really, really good and powerful way to connect with other people. So I hope that was helpful. Again, a really short message on a huge topic that we can do so much with. And yeah, I will hopefully share more in the next video and I'll see you soon.